Hey everyone, it's Liz Barnett, fitness and food coach, and I'm here with this week's weekly workout. If we haven't met before, you should know that I'm all about making exercise and eating right, doable, sustainable, and even fun. So here we are down on the ground, and today's workout is gonna be a 10 minute booty blaster. Now, this workout was great for those days that maybe you don't really feel like working really hard and getting up a sweat and jumping up and down. It's also a great way to finish a very intense workout because we're going to really blast those muscles that you've worked throughout an entire total body workout and fine tune them. So this is important not just for aesthetics but also function because you're going to build endurance in those muscles. Now, you don't actually need anything except some space to lay down. It's going to be an awesome option to have a set of weights. Now, these are five pounds. You could do somewhere between three and eight pounds probably. Probably. What we'll do here today is unilateral work. So that means one side and then the other side. So we'll do a few exercises on each side in a row and then change positions. I'll use the weights, but remember you don't have to. I have my handy timer set up. We have 45 second intervals of work and then 15 seconds to either transition or maybe for a little extra challenge, okay? So if we're gonna use the weights, here's what I want you to do. You're gonna set up on hands and knees. Take that one weight and place it behind, let's start with our left knee. Now it's really important here that you're gonna squeeze that weight very tight because you don't wanna lose it, okay? So if it's too much with the weight, you're just gonna drop it. Let's come to hands and knees, shoulders right over wrist, core is pulled in tight. You have a neutral spine, so your lower back is arched naturally, but you're not sticking your butt out and you're not rounding your back. Let's get that 45 seconds on the clock and we're starting with single leg glute kickbacks. So shoulders over wrist, you're gonna squeeze that weight and press the thigh bone up to hip height. So you don't need to go higher than your hip, right? And you wanna make sure you're lifting more than just a couple inches off the floor because we're really trying to target right where the glute meets the thigh. Now you can certainly stay on both hands here or for a challenge, take your opposite arm, which will be your right hand, and just check out your lower back, make sure it's neutral. This is gonna challenge your balance and it's a nice reminder to keep a neutral spine, neutral pelvis. You can also take that same hand and pull your belly button in to remind you to engage your core. Gaze should generally be down at the floor. You're gonna draw those shoulders down and back. 10 more seconds here. Now, since we'll stay on this side, I'm gonna ask you to hold at the top and really squeeze that glute. You're exhaling as you press in three, two, hold. So all I want you to do is to statically squeeze your glute and not move the leg. You can flex your opposite foot for support. Shoulders down and back. Same leg, we're gonna do lateral lifts, okay? So you're gonna lower that knee down in three, two, and one. Now, squeeze that weight very tight. You're gonna take that leg and abduct it. That means lift it out to the side and lower it down. This movement's also called a hydrant. What you wanna be really careful of though is as you lift, in this case, your left leg out to the left, that you don't lean to the right. So try to keep your shoulders over your wrists and really focus on the outer portion of that glute. Those smaller muscles around the sides of the hip, they're very important for balance and stability, and they're gonna help actually protect your knee, strengthening those muscles, okay? So you're gonna squeeze the outside there. Again, same challenge option. Take that opposite right hand to your lower back. Notice it's a little harder to stabilize. 10 seconds, this time we'll hold it up and pulse. In four, three, two, hold it up. Now you're gonna hold it up and pulse for 10, nine, eight, pulsing from the outer glute. I'm gonna switch this weight to the other side in four, three, two, one. You should have noticed that other leg working to stabilize. Quickly switch the weight to the right knee or the opposite legs. And here we go, second set or second side. Press up and lower, press up and lower. Now we just have these two exercises on this side before we change position. So if you're feeling any tension in your wrists, you can make fists. You could come down to elbows, but I don't love that because that's really gonna change the angle at your joint. So try to stay on hands and knees. You can always put a cushion under the opposite knee if that helps you out. Remind yourself, draw your shoulders down and back. And remember, you're welcome to use that 15 second interval in between to help you take a rest if you need it, okay? Really squeeze where the glute meets the thigh. You should be feeling that hamstrings as well. Get ready to hold in five, four, three, two, just freeze. Now, of course, you might be checking me out every so often to see my form. Generally, I want your gaze sort of toward the top of a mat if that's what you are on. You don't want to look up too high and you don't want to tuck your chin to your chest. Gaze straight in front. Three, two, abduction. You're going to lift it out and resist down. Now, with these unilateral exercises where we're working one side at a time, it's really telling. You can kind of see quite easily if one side is stronger or tighter or just asymmetrical from the other. So just notice, you're using your breath, you're exhaling as you lift. Big squeeze there. Good, draw those shoulders down and back. Keep breathing. 
You got 20 seconds. Now again, if you need to reset your upper body, you can. We'll hold this for a quick pulse at the top and then we're gonna flip over onto our back. So just make sure you're ready to flip over. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hold it at the top here, pulse it up, 10, nine, eight, and seven. I'm gonna remove the weight, lower my knee, and flip onto my back with both weights. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, quick change. Now you can take one weight, or if you have a set, both weights, and they're gonna to go to your hips. Okay, let's start. Both feet flat on the floor, bridges. Lifting your hips and lowering. Okay, so let's do just a few with both feet on the ground, and just make sure that you feel even side to side here. Now you can also do this without the weights. Now for a challenge, walk your feet together, lift, take one knee up to tabletop, lower the foot, and then resist the hips. Switch legs every time. So you'll lift the hips into this bridge with both feet on the floor, lift one leg, lower, and lower. Now if you did this wider feet, it's actually gonna make it harder in this case because you just have those feet offset that moment you lift your leg up. So for a little bit more stability, if you're gonna march, call this a glute bridge march, try it with your feet closer together to make it easier. Now let's just hold this bridge up. Okay, I'm gonna ditch the weights. We're gonna do a single leg bridge. I'm gonna lower your hips, walk your feet together in three, two, one. Weights to the sides, left foot down, right leg up. Hands by your sides. You're just lifting and lowering. It's exactly the same idea in that we're lifting and lowering, we're gonna to try to keep this top leg stable. For a challenge, maybe straighten that top leg up to the ceiling. Now here's where you really start to feel the burn. Okay, you're welcome to keep that knee bent, especially if you have tight hips or tight hamstrings. Try to keep your gaze up at the ceiling, keep your core nice and tight. At the end of this exercise, we're gonna hold the single leg bridge and march the opposite leg, so the one that's up to the ceiling, okay? Let's get ready to hold those hips up and that top, in this case, right leg, is gonna tap down. A few more reps. Three, two, hold. Okay, top leg, tap and lift. Now you should be really feeling this in the supporting leg. Use your hands to help you. Any pain in the lower back, reset, or just lower the hips a few inches. Let's get ready to do the same on the other side. In three, two, right foot down, left knee up. Lower the hips and lift, 45 seconds. Now we're coming toward the end of this workout. Again, you're really targeting the butt here and a lot of both the smaller and larger muscles. So the muscles around the hips and even the inner thighs. Notice here, can you keep your hips even side to side? That's your core engaging. Remember for that challenge, you can straighten that top leg up. Imagine like you're trying to stamp the ceiling. Exhale on the way up, resist on the way down. Maybe even challenge yourself, see how softly you can lower those hips. Get ready to hold those hips up. We're gonna march that left leg up and down. Coming up in five, four, three, two. Let's hold those hips up. And now just your left leg taps and lifts. Okay guys, we're coming to the very end of this workout. We're gonna finish with a glute bridge march. So you're gonna try to keep your hips up the whole time. I'm really <laughs> feeling this in the back of my legs. I hope you are too. Keep breathing. We're gonna just march those feet. Okay, one foot down, other leg up. Now imagine like you're balancing something here in your hips. Try not to let your hips sway. If you want that extra challenge, extend your leg up to the ceiling, but make it really smooth. Get nice little hamstring stretch as you do that. Reach and pull, reach and pull. You can even take your hands to your hip bones like I have them and make sure your hip bones aren't moving side to side. Try to keep your hips up, last few reps. Make sure you breathe. Maybe pick up that pace, but see if you can keep that consistency of how still your hips are. Last few, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna take both feet down, lower your hips down. Excellent, carefully, slowly pull your knees into your chest, give them a hug, release your lower back. I'm gonna stop my timer so it doesn't keep beeping. And we're gonna rock and roll ourselves up. Really great job, guys. So that workout was quick, right? But like I said, we really focused on one area. Super important to have your workouts be balanced and really target the entire body, but sometimes you don't have a lot of time. Sometimes you don't wanna sweat that bad. This is a great option. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. Remember, it can be done in conjunction with the rest of our workouts for a much more intense, more involved, longer session. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. My website is lizbarnett.com, and I hope to see you soon. Have a great rest of your day.